guys, my name is Lindsay from Pay Parts Planner Co. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your GoodNotes to make sure that it syncs across, across iCloud on all your devices and that it automatically backs up to the cloud server of your choice, whether that be Dropbox, GoodNotes, or OneDrive. So in this tutorial, you're going to learn everything that you need to know to make sure all of your settings are set up correctly. Okay, so whenever you are going to set up where your GoodNotes syncs across all of your Apple devices using iCloud, the first thing that you want to do is to do it on the device you use the most often. So that's where I would start. So I use my iPad for all of my digital planning needs. So I'm going to do this on my iPad. So what you want to open GoodNotes and you just want to be on the home screen here. Then you want to click right up here on this gear icon and go to cloud and backup. Now I have turned my mine off so I can go through this with you um, exactly how it would if you have not set this up yet. So we're gonna click first on iCloud Sync. This Cloud Sync is for iCloud only. This section right here just refers to iCloud. And so what that means is that when you have this enabled, it's gonna sync all across your Apple devices that are on the same exact iCloud account. Now, if you have your iPad on one Apple account and your iPhone on another iPad, iCloud account, your devices are not gonna sync together. So they have to be on the same iCloud account under the same email. So to set that up, first you wanna click right here and you want to go to and set this to enabled. So you wanna use iCloud to sync documents, you wanna turn this on, and then this, this ID is just gonna populate. You don't need that for anything, it's just gonna be there. So now I have it set up to where it's gonna sync across my devices. But now we need to do the same thing on our phone. So I'm gonna to go to GoodNotes and I'm gonna click on the settings and I'm gonna to go to Cloud and Backup. And now I want to make sure I have iCloud enabled here. I already have it set up, so now it's gonna sync across my devices. And then you wanna do the same exact thing on your MacBook is to go and click iCloud enabled. So once you do that and you have all three synced, it is automatically going to sync across all of your devices on the same iCloud account. Now, I will say this is not a perfect system or um, sometimes it's not as immediate as you would like it to be. Um, if you say, let's go to my planner, let's just test it out here. So I have my May calendar here. Let's go to June and write something really big. So let's just say I write this on my calendar. Now I go over here to my iPhone, I go to my planner, and I'm gonna go to June. And see, it does not show up where I just wrote that hello. So there's a little bit of a lag and a delay across devices. So what I would recommend if you want it to be immediate is to close out of that app and then close out of on both of your devices and let it refresh. So now I'm gonna go to Good Notes and I'm gonna let it refresh. And it's still not there. It does take some time. Um, it's not as immediate as we would like it to be. However, it will eventually show up. So if I go to like my May calendar that I just decorated a few days ago, I can see here that it has everything that I've decorated. And so I, it does show up on one device to another, but it's just not as immediate. And that's a Good Notes issue. That's not a your device issue. What The one thing that makes it work a little bit faster is if you leave de both devices open, you need to have the GoodNotes app open to make it sync. So if you leave it open for a little while, it'll eventually show up and see now it is on both devices. So I don't know if you can see that here, but if you zoom in, you can see where now it is on both devices. So there within a couple minutes, it does show up after refreshing the apps and leaving them open for a bit. It will show up, but it's not as instantaneous as we would probably like it to be as GoodNotes users. But this will work the same way on your MacBook as well if you're using a MacBook. However, using iCloud is not where you need to stop as far as making sure that your GoodNotes files are secure. A lot of times, so many people, so many people have talked to me about they get a new iPad and um, they log into their iCloud account with GoodNotes and then none of their documents are there. And it takes a week before all of their documents finally show up and all of their stickers load. And that is could be a huge problem. It can be scary. You can feel like you've lost everything just because you got a new iPad. Um, and that can be really frustrating. So what you need to do to make sure that you are taking extra steps to keep your documents secure 
is to create a backup. So you want to go to settings and you want to go to uh, cloud and backup. And then you need to do a couple of different things. I recommend taking a manual backup as often as possible, like once a month, doing a manual backup and backing up everything in your GoodNotes file to a storage system like Dropbox or Google Drive. So that's something that you need to do regularly, but you also want to set up automatic backups. So if I click here on automatic ba backups, I have it disabled, so I turned it off for this video, but I'm going to click on, and then once I clicked on, I'm going to have all these extra options here. So you can do cloud storage. You can choose from Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, or Web DAV. I use Dropbox, but if you are a uh, if you prefer Google Drive, you can do that as well. And whenever you click on whichever one you are going to choose, you can click right here and it's going to ask you to sign in and set up a folder. Now I have a GoodNotes folder set up. I can see that right here within Dropbox. And I have it set up to upload over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and the file format to GoodNotes. So what that means is whenever I go to my Dropbox, I can find that folder there. So I'm going to go to Dropbox and then I'm going to search for that, Go that GoodNotes file. So I'm just going to search for GoodNotes. And now mine is going to pop up with a ton of GoodNotes because I make GoodNotes files, but yours probably won't come up with very many things. So if I click on this GoodNotes here, I see today it backed up my planner. Yesterday it backed up all these planners and I have all of my files here where that is automatically backing up those files to my Dropbox account. And I click on here and there's even more files. So that is another step you can take to make sure that your documents are automatically backed up to cloud service and then you never have to worry about losing them. So if you do get a new iPad or if your device is broken, something happens and you lose everything in GoodNotes, if you're automatically backing it up, you can always open this up and then export it right into GoodNotes and then you have another copy of it. So that is all the steps that you need to take to make sure that your device is syncing across iCloud accounts and being auto backed up to cloud service like Dropbox or Google Drive.